It was just over a week ago that thousands of people in London held a vigil for victims of the New Zealand terror attack. But while people around the world are acknowledging the need to take more serious steps to stop a rising tide of Islamophobia, the UK has seen a surge in anti-Muslim hate. In the week after the Christchurch attack, hate crimes targeting the UK's Muslim community rose by almost 600%. And now it appears Prime Minister Theresa May's Conservative Party is struggling to contain anti-Muslim sentiment within its own ranks. The Twitter account Mates Jacob has been documenting cases of Islamophobia from Tories for years. Last month, it went public with evidence it had collected of racist and anti-Muslim posts. Well, it was Islam is like alcoholism. The first step to recovery is admit you have a problem. Yeah. Is that acceptable? No, it is not acceptable. Right. So why was he still allowed to stay? Well, he... As a result, dozens of Conservatives had their membership suspended. But last weekend, The Guardian reported that 15 Conservative councillors had had their membership reinstated. Revolving door racism is the new policy, it seems. Media storm leads to suspension, and when no one's looking, we simply sneak them back in. When it comes to fighting anti-Muslim hate, even Conservative Party members have accused May of burying her head in the sand. I think she doesn't listen. I think she fails to acknowledge when there is a problem. She fails to tackle that problem head on. Others flat out deny there's a problem. You know, I think a party that um, has a, a Muslim as a Home Secretary is not a party that could be accused of being Islamophobic. The Prime Minister has defended the party's investigation. The Conservative Party has a complaints process which deals with complaints of Islamophobia and complaints of any other sort against councillors or uh, other members of the, uh, of the party. Uh, it is absolutely clear that discrimination or abuse of any kind is wrong. We take action against uh, where there are cases of discrimination or, or abuse. For the past three years, the Labour Party has been facing accusations of anti-Semitism and the Tories have not been afraid to criticise them for it. We can never be too blasé about anti-Semitism. We can never be too... Uh, 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 tolerant of anti-Semitism, and the party opposite can never be too apologetic about yeah. anti-Semitism. Yeah. Now the Conservative Party stands accused of being blasé about Islamophobia. Last year, an all-party parliamentary group on British Muslims defined Islamophobia as a type of racism that targets expressions of Muslimness or perceived Muslimness. It's been formally adopted by Labour, the Liberal Democrats and the Mayor of London, but not by the Conservatives. So is the party ignoring anti-Muslim hate in its ranks? We have to stop the denial. There has to be an acknowledgement that this is a real issue and has been an issue for many years. The first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. Denise Savoya, The Newsmakers.